We'll guide you through how to download and install the Craftoria mod pack for Minecraft. If you find this useful then consider subscribing and liking this video. Craftoria is a great mod pack with, with so many mods completely changing up Minecraft. So let's go and get started. First of all go and quit the game. So to go and do this we're going to be using an app. Now this app makes downloading mod packs so simple and it's got a wide range on there. But first of all, you need to make sure you've got Minecraft installed. You probably already have, but I'm just making it clear that you need it. Now what we can do is go and open up a web browser like so. And what we need to do is go and search for the app, which is called CurseForge. It's actually a huge site for Minecraft and many other games as well for mods and add-ons. Go and click on it and come to CurseForge.com. Now head to the top right where it says Get CurseForge App. You can then go to the bottom left here and click on Download Standalone. So this will go and download the CurseForge installer. After you've got it, you can come out of your web browser. Before we get into the install process, a big thank you to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. They're my go-to Minecraft server host. If you're interested, I'll put a link down below in the description and in the pinned comment. They've got so many awesome features, for example, 24 seven servers and support. So you can go and get the help anytime you need it. One click install mod packs, DDoS protection, ultra latency, and so much more. And at the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice. So go and check them out. A big thanks to them for sponsoring the video. And what you want to do is go and open up your file explorer, come to the left, and you can go and click on downloads. Then what we can do is go and double click on it, and we can go and run it. Now we just need to go through the installer. So I'll just go and choose English. You can see the installation folder. You need to accept the terms of use and privacy policy and confirm you're at least 18 years old. I am, so I can click next. You can then go and agree to this here. If you do, click on accept and install. Now it's gonna go and start downloading and it will start installing as well. So all you need to do is go and wait. Once it's finished, it'll go and launch. Here we are, it's now loaded. Now what you need to do is go over to the left and go and select Minecraft. If it's missing here, but Minecraft is definitely installed on your computer as it needs to be, Click on the plus which says add a game and you can scan or you can go and manually go and add it. Now you can come to my mod packs. You'll go and see I've got quite a few here. This is because I've gone and used it before. It's pretty likely you'll have none here. So then all you need to do is go and click on search at the top and we can go and type in craft Aurea like so. And as you can see, here it is. So you can go and click on it like so. You can scroll down and check out the description and it'll go and tell you. And you can go and see some other information up here as well. So go and get it, you just need to go and click on install in the top right. Now it's gonna start the download process. The time this takes will go and vary depending upon your internet speed because there are quite a few different mods that will need to go and download. So all you need to do is go and wait. When it's finished, you'll then go and see the play option in the top right. And when you go and click on the Minecraft icon over to the left or click on my mod packs, it'll go and appear on this menu here as well. So we can click on it and click on play in the top right. Now it's going to go and launch. So all you need to do is click play. Here we are, it's now gone and loaded and you're already gonna be noticing differences. And when we start looking in the inventory as well, you're going to go and notice a load of different items as well. 